production of Applause on WVIZ PBS. Hello, I'm Dee Perry. Welcome to Applause. Here in Northeast Ohio, we really connect with bridges. Concrete and steel spans like the Detroit Superior Bridge, the Hope Memorial, and the Main Avenue bridges were built in the first half of the 20th century to link the east and west sides of Cleveland, to get us across the Cuyahoga River, and to serve the industrial flats. Now, while most bridges are seen strictly as a way to get from point A to point B, some are finding new life as tourist attractions, works of art, and even gallery space. While most bridges are put together by a team of professionals, one Ohio bridge was put together by an army of one named Don Prussia. If I had a hammer, I'd a hammer in the morning. Well, you've heard the adage, you know, why does a, a person climb a mountain? Because it's there. Well, bridge builders look at it this way. Uh, they build a bridge because it isn't there. Does that make any sense? No, not really. <laughs> All over this land. Ooh. And I knew there was a little ravine over here, and I thought that would be a nice place to build a bridge. And so that's when I started thinking about it. All over this land. I'd ring out uh, we had these trees that were falling down occasionally or dying and uh, they were either going to just lie there or I was going to make firewood or I was going to build something from them and decided the latter. I rather would build with them. I think it's the challenge mostly. It's the, it's the can I do this? Can I be better than I was before? Can I make something different than somebody else has made? In this case I think a lot of it was can I make something the way it used to be made? Can I do some of the things that people did with simple saws and, and hammers and such that did, you know, didn't have their power tools? So I think for him it's a challenge. I, don't, I just enjoy working with my hands and making things. I, I especially enjoy making things where people maybe have thrown something away and I resurrect it and uh, reuse it or reuse it in a different way. Like a lot of the equipment that I use is, is stuff that uh, people didn't want anymore. The best part of a project is figuring out how to do it because uh, I built the bridge completely by myself. I didn't have any help, just me and my tractor. And uh, put everything up, you know, build everything in the workshop and then hauled it out there and, and put it back together on, on site. So I did everything including the roof. I never was on the roof. I built the entire roof from inside the bridge and worked my way up until I got to the top and left a space through the center of it open and then I worked from one end to the other to do the, the entire thing. I've never gotten on the roof. I hope I never have to. It's a little steep. I think he's a wonderful person myself. He is hardworking. He is solid. He is earthbound, his feet both planted firmly on the ground. He is uh, a visionary in some sense, but, but his practical detail side takes those visions and makes them reality. I'm the one you have to kind of grab my feet and put them back down again. But uh, no, he's, he's very hardworking and, uh, as I said before, persevering. While I'm sitting in something that even I sometimes have trouble believing that I could do. I'm 70 years old. I finally finished it up at this age. And uh, it gives me a lot of satisfaction to just sit out here and enjoy the the woods, enjoy the, the structure that I built and look up and say, my gosh, I, I did that. Just enjoy it. Well, that's it for this round of applause. But remember, you can catch every episode on the web by logging on to WVIZ.org.